When you're creating a shape, and let's go for the basic shape selection, there are a few examples that have a 3D perspective effect. So namely the bevel, and then the cube, and then the cylindrical example. So I'll just go through them quickly. So for this one, it creates a perspective of a sort of cube shape coming towards you. With shapes like the rounded ones, you get this diamond, but in this case, it's changing the active perspective as you can see here. And with this, if you're adding any text inside, the text will have to be retained in this inner area. So I'll show you what I mean. So it is just retained in this area to keep up the perspective. So if I make it a bit too small, the text will fill out of it like that. And that's pretty self-explanatory. It adds the shading on automatically. So this is just one color. This is meant to be just a gray and it's adding these shaded areas by just automatically making whatever color you selected a bit darker. So if I change the color to say a red, it's going to automatically adjust that to create the pseudo 3D effect there with the shading. Let's get rid of this one. Another example is the cube and similar sort of setup. You get the basic design and then with a diamond, you can then select essentially how long or I guess the depth of the cube, make it a bit more like a, an oblong, I think it's called, or make it more of a sort of equal cube shape like that. Again, the shading and all that is added automatically. And then another useful example is the can, or I guess the cylinder over here. And again, with the diamond, you are essentially just adjusting how much depth it has. Interestingly, it does add a bit of a 3D perspective shift here, going from more of like a pie chart style up to more of a classic can shape like this. So it does actually adjust the perspective, which I think is quite cool on this one. So there you go. Hopefully these 3D shapes will add a bit more flair to your presentations.